Well, table-wise, what are these two doing here? Both clubs with grand plans to shoot for the stars, but left on the launch pad and in danger of being left behind. They have been here before. Queen's Park Rangers are becoming the great championship survivors, but celebrating survival is not what they want. Coventry City, again, are lying in wait, ready to break cover, ready to make their move. Slow starters, but usually fast finishers. seen off. Oh, it's Dembele. Seller waiting in the middle. It's Dembele who does have a bit of magic in his boots. And Queen's Park Rangers get the first corner of the contest. <laughs> Done always a threat. Went in low and it's picked up again by Chair. Karamoko Dembele in cross from Dembele has dropped dangerously Smith set his sights and now Coventry looking for something on the counter attack Hadji Wright tearing his way forward Thomas Asante, Van Ebeck is up there with him Brandon Thomas Asante is seen off and Rangers have got numbers back there's Brandon Thomas Asante again Van Ebeck and it's kept out these four Rangers are hanging on here and now Hadji Wright and it's been squeezed in through the crowd and into the back of the net This is why I'm really surprised that Coventry have struggled for goals this season because they can do that, they've got that energy, they've got that quality and when they break it is lightning fast Keeper gets a touch on it which may take it away from Cook doesn't matter, there was three chances all rolled into one there, Coventry have made them pay the price Jan Seller There's Varane Sight of them running the ball on this side of the pitch, and Moran has looked to pick him out. Here is Koki Saito. Backed up by Elias Chair, he's done well. Koki Saito pulls it back and it's sent over the top ultimately. As Sandfield looked to pass for Queen's Park Rangers, but better than the home team. Well, yeah, that's how you get the fans out of the seat. That's how you get the fans involved. It was a positive pass forward from Varane and Koki Saito, even more positive. Brilliant dribbling there. It's beyond Van Evert and Sam Field is going to be disappointed. He's a right-footed player, he's just leaning back. Can't keep the ball down, but it goes down as a half a chance. Stabbed away by Van Evert. Saito. This is Field. Ilias Chair. It's Chair. With the flex behind the platter of the Well, they've missed it, haven't they? I can understand people feeling that there's a large reliance on him. A low centre of gravity can go both ways. Cook waits. Dung's in there. Varane's in there. As is Clark Salter. Ilias Cher sends it in, it's dropped again invitingly on the edge of the box and Saito tries to make something of it, it's another corner. There's some important defensive action there, Didn't really deal with the initial ball in Coventry, Couldn't go anywhere. There's Clark Salter. Demanding the ball again. Well, Coventry backed off and backed off. And invited the effort from Paul Smith. He couldn't pick out the bottom corner that time, but that's a warning. Yeah, well, it's ambitious. If you're Coventry, you're kind of saying, go on then, have a strike on your, your weaker left foot. Terrific effort. Tackles. Van Ebeek into Hadji right, the goal scorer. Eccles again. Thomas Asante was waiting. How did that not go in? This is some seriously good defending. 
because it's got own goal written all over it, hasn't it? Brandon Thomas Asante isn't getting on the end of it. It's Josh Eccles spots the runs, whips it in. Absolutely outstanding. I think it's Steve Cook, you know. Brilliant defending. Tough run for Queen's Park Rangers, Burnley away, Sunderland home, Middlesbrough home, Leeds away, they're the next four. This just doesn't get any harder, does it? That's why tonight was so important for Queen's Park Rangers. Another run, the front foot's here, it's a bouncing effort, it's found its way into the back of the net, and it's beaten down. Absolutely nowhere. Coventry going to be devastated, Mark Robbins, but it's just this little ball here where the silver gets done. Smith just pulls the ball back. There's an awful lot to do, and I think the fact that Morgan has struck this into the ground is what deceives Dovin in the goal. He almost dives past it. Goalkeeper, I don't know if he's a little bit unsighted, but it. It's a bit of a goalkeeping howler, if you ask me, to be fair. It goes in right in the middle of the goal. It's deceived the goalkeeper. And out of nowhere, Queen's Park Rangers have their goal. on the well-being of Josh Eccles. Josh, Thomas amongst those waiting. Sent in by Rodoni and Queen's Park Rangers. Oh. Oh. Struggling to clear, it will be a corner. There was a clash of heads, I think, at the back post. I'll tell you what, I think Lady Luck has just smiled very brightly on Queen's Park Rangers. This could easy have ended up in the net. It comes off Jake Clark's altar. So close. There's Hadji uh, White looking for Ellis Sims. Sims is in and seen off by Nardi. Well, he's got to go round the goalkeeper, Ellis Sims. He's sprinting flat out. Keepers upon him. Just a little touch to his right. It's a great run. Varane, no, no, as Queen's Park no, Rangers no, no. look to ask a late question or two here. Oh, a heavy collision as Binks hits the deck. Bissett beaten to it, but here's Sims, Bissett screaming for the ball on the far side of the pitch. The break on here for Coventry City, oh. and the Sims went for it, shocker. and it's kicked out by Nardi. Did he make the right decision? No, no, it's a shocker. He's got blinkers on, he's got blinkers on Ellis Sims. He has to look to his right. He hasn't got one teammate to pick out, he's got two. Now for Ram. Here's Anderson. There's the time for one last twist here. It's Santo. Coventry have got bodies back, and one of those was, of course, the keeper, Oliver Dovin. He manages to hold on to that, and that was the final act of this contest in West London. Queen's Park Rangers still can't win at home, Coventry City still can't win away. Both are still looking over their shoulders. 18-year-old Kieran Morgan, only his second appearance at Queen's Park Rangers, arriving here in the summer from Spurs to rescue a point for Queen's Park Rangers. A night he'll never forget, a moment he'll never forget. Both remain in the bottom three as it stands. It's finished, Queen's Park Rangers 1, Coventry City 1.